judicial nominations are one big way President Trump can shape the country. The president had one Supreme Court and 12 U.S. Court of Appeals confirmations more than his, you, his immediate predecessors in their first years. President Obama had one Supreme Court and three U.S. Court of Appeals confirmations. President Bush had only six U.S. Court of Appeals confirmations. We're joined now by Matt Smith, president of Catholic Advocate, a nonpartisan organization working to ensure Catholic voices are heard in the federal government. Welcome back and thanks for joining us. Thank you. Appreciate it. So why should Catholics be concerned about these appeal court nominations? Well, it's the, the first step before something gets to the Supreme Court. It's a place where rulings can uh, stop before needing to come to the Supreme Court. Lots of cases being decided, religious liberty cases, abortion cases, like we just talked about with Illinois. That could be something that heads to the appeals courts pretty quickly. So the president has has beat the record of the, with these with these uh, appeals court nominations. Um, what are the issues you had mentioned? Abortion, religious liberty. I mean, how can an appeals court judge have a say on those issues? Well, the, the important thing to think about is at the end of the Obama administration, nine of the thirteen uh, appellate courts uh, were controlled by Democrat appointees. And when you talk about the appellate courts, there's multiple judges that then come down on a ruling. Similar to the Supreme Court, there are nine, and there are the, the rulings, seven, two, six, three, five, four. Same thing on the appellate courts. So when you have a majority of Democrat appointments making these rulings, there tends to be a tilt. And finding that balance with the Republican appointees is important if we're going to defend some of these values that are of concerns to Catholics. And one of the things that's always interesting with these appointments are always for life. I mean, the Senate, they're there for six years. Mm -hmm. Representatives are, have a two-year term, president four years. This is a for life appointment. It is, but there's also something called senior status, which when you combine the amount of service plus their age, you have judges that can take senior status where they can still hear cases, mm -hmm. uh, but it also opens up the opportunity for a vacancy for President Trump to appoint. And that's where the real opportunity lies for President Trump, is any of these judges that were Republican appointees that might be approaching senior status, they can still hear cases, but when they take that status, it opens up a vacancy that he can then appoint. And if there's any sort of risk of the Senate flipping next year or making confirmations that much harder, uh, there's an opportunity where he could really have an impact on shaping the courts and his presidency. And then shaping the courts and the presidency, one of those main, main issues is the pro-life cause. I mean, mm -hmm. what, what can happen in this term, in, in his presidency, pre, uh, his, his first year in office here, his first couple years in office, making these appointments? I mean, what's the long-term strategy for abortion laws? Well, I mean, you have a lot, lots of places where we've, we've had to chip away, um, whether it's the uh, Born Alive Infants Protection Act, the Paying Capable uh, legislation, all these various things that the, immediately they get passed by a pro-life Congress, they get challenged in the courts. So if we're going to continue to make the inroads on the legislative front and rolling back the damage that Roe versus Wade uh, did over 45 years ago, then we have to make the, have the backstop of uh, appointees that will uphold the law. Okay, well, thank you so much, Matt Smith, president of Catholic Advocate. Thanks for your time. Thank Appreciate you. it very much.